uh, I later found out I was looking for happiness and I could only be happening if happy if things were happening yeah. and as soon as they were over I would always just by default fall into Think this back. hopelessness and a fear-based view of God a fear of God uh, I grew up uh, knowing God that there was a God the one and true God I grew up knowing Jesus I never really ever was told that Jesus uh, accomplished. Would you say knowing Jesus or knowing about Jesus? No, uh, knowing little about him, mm. but that he was very nice, but his father was very unkind <laughs> and very watching me and his dad was going to be really hard on me and watching mm. my mistakes and uh, very performance. I learned how to be for other people what mm. they needed me to be mm. and in that I lost myself. So when difficulties came, I didn't even have a me to, to rely on. I was, what I say, just I was finished. A desire for life. Um, I always say God made me a particular way. I thought it would be better to be dead, but I had no courage to do anything about that. I was af would be afraid of that. Did you see this, Paul? when, uh, well, may maybe not the first coffee, but I think there were <laughs> a number of coffees yes, and yes, a heart yes. being poured out and you, I'm yeah. sure you knew what Darlene needed. Yes, mm -hmm. uh, we, yeah, we started uh, dating just going out for coffee and uh, she would pour out her life to me. And, and I was amazed at her openness. I had never met anybody who just put it out there, you know, all her mistakes, all, her whole life was just kind of poured out an and open I would book. just it was she was an open book and I would just listen I wouldn't have to say much and mm -hmm. and uh, the time would go by and oh do you want to meet again next week and we'll go for a coffee sure and and the mm -hmm. next week would be the same and uh, eventually I, I thought to myself she's got to know something about me and, and my thought was if I open up to her and tell her about my Christian life She'll be gone. That'll turn her right off, you know. I, I just thought that, that she wouldn't be interested in that at all. Uh, and so I kind of prepared myself for that. Hmm. And so the time came, I thought, well, she's got to know something about me for this relationship to grow and continue to, to move any farther. I have to share that with her. And so hmm. I did. And uh, that was, that's an amazing that's story. That's wonderful. Hmm. That, that was a turning point. Uh, for me, um, I used to be shocked at myself. We would go for coffee and afterwards I'd think, he's never going to phone again. I, would, I had told him everything and I thought, there is no way he'd ever be interested in someone like me because he's so different. Mm -hmm. um, and I bet he's never heard anything uh, uh, like my life. And mm -hmm. so this particular day he invited me to come to Toronto and wanted to take me for um, for coffee in a nice coffee shop, which used to be the Renaissance at that time. And we went to the cafe there and we were sitting, having coffee and dessert, obviously. <laughs> and we were talking and Paul said, you know, Darlene, we've met several times and you have shared your life with me. And there's something about me that I must tell you. And everything in me thought, this is it he is going to tell me that he's not interested because I was certainly sure that um, I could not be the kind of person really anyone could love. Mm -hmm. and, um, and I kind of braced myself and he said, I need you to know that I'm a Christian. And I actually had to ask him what that was. Mm -hmm. I didn't know. Wow. Well, here we are. <laughs> you just celebrated 24, 24 years. years. Of yes. marriage yes. Yes. and uh, what God has done uh, you've lived a very normal life yes uh, yes just had a, a great life and marriage yes. and now a ministry since yes. when 2005 um, it started about eight or ten years ago but not formally until about yeah, yes. 2005. You're a registered charitable organization, yes. His Place Ministries, yes. a Christ-focused ministry of teaching and discipleship centered around the believer's new identity in mm. Christ yes. and the need for complete dependency on the indwelling life of Jesus. Mm. I, I love your, your theme mm. verse. I think Colossians 1.27 is your banner verse. Yes, it is. Christ yes. in you, yes. the hope 
of glory. Right. And and one of the one of your courses, extreme change. Uh, Extreme. Extreme change. Exchange. <laughs> oh, help me. Exchange. Extreme exchange. Exchange. Yeah, okay. exactly. Did you get that? <laughs> and you model it, both of you I model know. it. Wow. You changed you. your denial and yeah. doubt and bitterness for the abundant life mm -hmm. Jesus promised. And Darlene, mm -hmm. not only have you found mm -hmm. what you never thought possible for yourself, right. you're making it possible for others. Yeah. His PlaceMinistries.ca. Right. Mm -hmm. What a great story. Yes. I'm sure this is bringing hope for someone today who, who feels there's not much to hope for. Mm. And it's great to see the mobility that you do have, Paul. I'm, yes. I'm very blessed, Moira. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, God didn't instantly heal me way back then when I was surrounded with prayer. He chose to allow me to sit in a wheelchair all these years. It's been 36 years now, mm -hmm. uh, actually 37 this summer. And, uh, but, but he's given me what I need to live. Mm -hmm. And that is a miracle every day. Mm -hmm. uh, you, you sometimes look for certain miracles or, or you look to God to do something a certain way. And, and, but you, you can never imagine what God has in store. Uh, Jeremiah says his ways are not our ways and his ways are much higher than our ways and I'm thankful for that. I had no idea back then the full life that I had in store for me, uh, full of ups and downs like any other person, not exempt from trials, and, uh, but, but he's there to take you through. And now it, you're making a difference in the lives of others. You know, I picked this card up, how appropriate for your testimony. Every blessing you desire, every need you face, and every truth you seek is found in Jesus Christ. That's right. Yes, I all of it. That's right. Thank you folks right. so much.